Yes, yes, it's Azure Reviews Cars. We're back again with another video. I know most of you people miss me, but today we've got this Mercedes A180D in the executive pack, a 2020 year one. Purchase your tracks today. Mercedes want to show that it's actually a Mercedes. You have silver chroming there. You've got the chrome split at the bottom as well, which gives that sport touch. You've got the vents on the sides. Onto the wheels now, you've got these titanium five-spoke 18-inch alloys, which obviously you can get with most uh, AMG line packs. You don't get it with the basic models. And um, it's quite common. I've got it on my GLC as well and it, it just it just shows you the logo basically in a wheel let's give a little discussion on the engine of the car Let me just open the bonnet real quick so what? take your yard This is the 180D, it comes with a 1.5 litre engine in the diesel and um, it's pushing around 138 brake horsepower. So, I don't know, like, for, for considering its rivals, which is the A3 and the 1 series, it's actually decent. But 138, I don't know, like, for a car lover, it's not really pushing that much. You get the A45 version, which you get the torque and you get the um, brake horsepower. So going on to the lights now, there's a slight change, not even a slight change, there's quite a difference on the lights. You're going to see on the rear lights later on and on the front lights. The front lights were rounder before and now they're going quite, technology wise they've just advanced a little. So onto the body of the car, there's quite a big difference to the one that was uh, basically the one that this replaced as a facelift. You've got the silver trimming on the side obviously. Got the privacy glass folding mirrors now the main differences between the previous one and this facelifted one is that was more sportier whereas this is sports plus the luxury so you have the slight difference and the target market for this one is young generation so i'm talking maybe 20 plus approaching 26 and the reason for that is it's just it, it's easier to drive the size of it is perfect. You have the saloon version as well. This one's a hatchback, you have the saloon version as well. But the saloon, I'm not really a fan of, I'm gonna be honest. I think it's the, exactly the same as a CLA. And there was no point, it's just it's just to sell more cars. That's all it is. Um, onto the rear now of the car, you got these, the massive light change. Um, before it was more circular. Maybe this part was the same. Approaching this part, this one's more pointy. And I prefer these lights to the older ones. It was just that, that one was, it went on for too long and they needed that change, the modern touch. And you've got the privacy glass on the back as well. And you have the A180 obviously, the D, um, Mercedes logo. Now onto the exhaust now, which is the main part everyone waits for. Let me check if they're fake. Oh wow, my hand stops. They're fake. You have the splitter at the bottom and um, the chrome finish on the exhaust pipes actually gives it a good touch. Ok, 
Okay, so now onto the food. Look at the size of it compared to the cars we've done before. It's, it's quite small. Maybe one big suitcase or two medium suitcases. It gives 370 litres, which is a semi-decent amount of space. When you push the seats down, it's around eight, 900. So you can fit a few suitcases in, but then obviously your passengers aren't fitting in. Rear of the car for the passengers. Getting, getting in, you have to go down a little, obviously, because it's a low car. Oh, where's it gone? Oh, you don't have it in this, so you don't have no armrest, which is a downfall. Size-wise, yeah, it's it's good, but you can like look at this. This is this is this is how it shows. This is how the driver was sitting, who was driving it before me, and look how much space is there. So you could, it's it's quite tight over here. You could fit the one person here, maybe second person there, so four passenger car. But in the middle, unless you're a little kid, like probably five years old maximum, you ain't fitting over here. Like if there's two big sized men like me. And um, I don't know, it, you have the sporty side in front of you, right? so the view in front is quite good. But it's just that uh, seats wise, very comfortable, but you don't have that spacious where you can fit your legs a little. Very tight. Yes, my brother. Yes, yes, we're back again. Everyone waits for this part that, well, most people wait for this part of the episode, <laughs> isn't it? Some people find it entertaining, some people think, oh, wow, like, who are these people? <laughs> but yeah, we're back again. Another week. All right, do you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to start it off halfway through what we normally talk about yeah. during the video, yeah? Only because we're filming in the dark yeah. and i got to put the flash on. Yeah. And it's still quite hard to see. Where's the ambient lighting? Um, unfortunately, this car doesn't have that included in the executive pack. Uh, it's one thing uh, I told the owner as well. I was like, it's one thing that he actually misses. Like, if you had it, it's... my guy, that's that's a big L. Yeah, because it the... is too dark in here. It's the one L, um... and it gives it that more luxury look, no. Yeah, and, you know, and especially in the A-Class now, it, it actually, it, it, it just shines once you have the ambient lighting. Like, the interior looks 10 times better. But yeah, that's uh, the that's the one L. Alright, let's not, let's not keep it with negatives. Let's talk about a positive right now. So, what do you want to start with? First off, uh, look at the screen in front, the display. you got the 10.25 inch one there, the screen. And then you got another seven inch screen which are linked together and to be honest it actually is a good idea like mercedes have gone good with this because the last one the last a class it actually had um it didn't have something like this and technology wise it's advanced yeah all it had was a little screen in yeah. the in the center yeah uh, I, I, i've sat in a few of them and it, it it wasn't it wasn't the same feeling like it wasn't you don't have that comfortability of course not. This is this is 1010 10 luxury. This is 1010 10 luxury. They've, they've and sport both put together in one. Yes. Yeah. And obviously the the price is the price is good for where it is. Well, how much is it? So uh, if you get the basic model, you can pick it up for what I think is twenty six thousand upwards. Okay. But this obviously because it's executive pack. One, so how much are you looking at roughly? Um, I think probably around. 32, 33 upwards 
That so, is crazy. So it depends on what 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 you actually want in your car. Ambient lighting, you get you have to pay extra. What like an extra five grand? Uh, no, no, not that much. <laughs> but like you have premium, premium plus. Yeah. Um. So every 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 improvement you want, or every extra you want, you have to pay extra, obviously. But yeah, this this has everything that you actually physically need in a car. So as you see, you got the black with the red. And the material on this is oh, lovely. Yeah, that is completely different. Normally yeah, they just have different. the red stitching. They've actually got a whole red. It bar goes onto the seats as well, which you know what? It's 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 class. Like it's sporty. If you look at that, you have sport seats, you've got the black with the red, and um onto the steering wheel now as well, you've got the black with the red. So black, red, it goes all around the car. And you've got the flat bottom here as well, which Sporty. Yeah, the red and the flat bottom gives it gives it a mean yeah, look. Yeah, mean look, and it's full leather as well. So it's, it's real leather. Uh, you saying real wagyu? You touching real wagyu stuff? Yeah, man. Do you know, do you know one of them ones? I feel, I, I feel like a million dollars right now. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yeah, you look at the vents. You see the polished black around it. This this is actually it stands out, and even this as well. But this is totally different to if you're getting like say the GOC or the even the E-Class that we've done It's totally different to that It's because they wanted A-Class to have different features Yeah, to be fair, it, yeah. it's, it's a bit more for the younger generation It, it is. is, it's aimed towards a younger generation And the A-Class, obviously Saloon, uh, as I said before, I'm not really a fan of But A-Class Saloon gives you slight more boot space, a bit more extra but this is perfect for if you're, do you know your first car, your second car? Second car, this is perfect. Mm. And if you're getting on monthly payments, it's not even that much. Like it's, it's What are you looking perfect. at on like a monthly payment? I think um, this specific model is around like 270, 280 a month. What is that? On lease, two or three PCP? Years, lease. Lease. Yeah, but if you're getting it on PC, HP, you're obviously going to pay much more for the car. Yeah. yeah. But this was brand new. So it's, on, it's got limited miles on there as well, so it's very low on mileage. Well, not for long. <laughs> and um, do you know what? Another thing that caught my eye that yeah. I haven't really seen in um, A classes is this touch bar. Yeah. It's the touch bar there. Yeah, so the new ones come with the touch pad. I only thought it came in like the 4x4s like yours. No, so they've introduced it on this one. You have the touch pad and it's, it's got... It, Basically, what it is, is it's got everything you need. You've got the touch pad, you've got a little extra pad here as well, which gives you a little, if you want, you can put your hand on it and it gives you a relaxing drive kind of comfort, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Someone big like me, you need yeah. that space. Like it, Some people, they love a gearbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you always put your hand around here. So this actually gives you that comfort Yeah, as well. do you know like, what? You One thing in. we've never really covered yet is um, the Mercedes, their gearbox is now basically behind the steering wheel. Yeah, oh, you spoke about Mercedes and look, oh, she's She there. loves me. <laughs> <laughs> she loves me. It's only my voice. Yeah, so the gearbox, they have the flip. Instead of having the indicator on the side and the yeah. wiper, they actually have it physically over here. And if I'm honest with you, there are ups for it and there are downs for it. Of course. I love the, you know, the, the old feeling of holding the, the gearbox. You know, the BMW, that's where BMW yeah. are actually, they're, they're, even Audi, they've got that little pilot system kind of thing. Like they've got that. They've and got that Volkswagen. And Volkswagen. They've, kept it. they've, kept, they've it kept it. They've kept it classic. It. But with Mercedes, they just want more features involved. Yeah, so yeah. So the touchpad gives a big replacement. But yeah. But it is much faster having it behind the steering wheel. Having it behind the steering wheel, you got the sh paddle shifts, yeah, and then right behind it, you got the up and that, which it comes in handy. Yeah, it gives less space, like more space to put extra things mm. in the middle. But yeah, I I, I prefer the um, gearbox, like the actual control. Yeah. So what now? Yeah. So. What's the next aspect you want to talk about? This specific one comes with the extra seat pack. And it comes with a heat pack as well. Extra seat so you've got the heated seats. Right, is that along on the door? Yeah, along on the door. So you can switch on, switch off, yeah. keep it whatever. Oh, hang on. One thing I've clocked. Where's the, um, normally I swear they have the electronic um, uh, to adjust your seat on the door. Yeah, no, this one doesn't have electronic. This one. But has do they manual. do that? 
Um, they do it as well, like the um, C the C class comes with it as well. Yes. The E class, but I don't think this specific one has it. So um, the Mercedes do still do it. Oh, but oh. it's just that this one doesn't have it. Nearly killed me there. No, no. <laughs> You're safe with me. Don't want to get told off. Oh look, look, she answered me again. Yeah. Mercedes loves you. Okay, so you said it's got the extra seat pack. Yeah. Which is seat uh, pack, which is the comfort. Do you know the seats? Yes. The sport seats. That's part of the seat pack. You got the heated seats, which is part of the seat pack as well. Uh, it comes with the light pack as well, which includes the outside lights. Right, and right. And the interior lights as well. Okay. So do you know all this extra little little lights you have? That's part of that pack. You got the USB C ports in this, so it doesn't have like your normal USB cables. That you right, like the new that. iPhones, yeah, it, so it puts that in. It's, I think it's part of the European law that like most of the most of most of the cars are coming with that now, so everyone's doing it. Right. So a note for people that are interested in buying this car: yeah. don't buy it if you've got an old phone. Uh, it's still, it's still fits in every iPhone. Like when I had the iPhone, the iPhone uh, X. It actually fitted in there and it was fine as well, but you just have to get a USB-C lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is more expensive, but mm. it, it comes in handy. Okay. And what about the screen? Is it is it touch screen? Yep, touch yes, screen. It's touch screen. You got touch screen, you got Apple CarPlay in this. You can link, I have it on my phone as well. You have the Mercedes Me app, which you can link. And with that, you can actually check everything on your car. It actually tells you if your car's unlocked, if you've left it unlocked, if the car's locked, That's how cool. much fuel you have. You can check everything. And does that come Mercedes. standard with it or do you got to pay extra? Um, that comes standard with this one. Right. But um, with the executive pack. But I'm not sure if it comes on the basic one. Okay. Yeah, it, you link it to your phone and it tells you everything. So let me just show you. You have your eco mode. You've got the comfort the sport and then if you want to push the car you've got a little individual as well which is an extra touch what, what's individual did you did you feel that straight away it kicks in yeah and it goes into manual as well so when you put in um individual it straight away it goes onto manual so you have to use the paddle shifts right so you got to do everything yourself basically yeah but s straight away it just changes into manual so you feel that kick straight away okay but um with the sport uh, mostly most people drive it in comfort obviously yeah but if you wanted to go into sport mode it, it still gives that little touch so it gives more obviously the wheels they adjust according to what mode you're driving in so if you're driving in comfort it will give like 50 50 kind of push but then it gives more more towards the front so your car actually pushes and this is in sport mode yeah this is sport mode at the moment but obviously no the one you were just traffic. describing that was sport mode yes yeah, right, right and an individual obviously it gives much more kick to the yeah. front so it pushes the car everything goes towards the front. talking about kick and that what's the engine like what's not 60 do you know yeah so not to 60 in this they say it's 8.8 .8 seconds but uh, people that have tried it's like 9.3 9.4 seconds do you want to prove them wrong no <laughs> <laughs> i got straight into that van <laughs> but this ain't the road for that yeah yeah yeah, uh, yeah but it's one of them ones where you when you're when you're looking to go for this model you're not looking for like do you know the push kind of thing of course not it's more different aspect yeah if you want push you're going for a 45 amg yeah like yeah, if yeah. You're looking for this is more um realistic this is more realistic more affordable use, more affordable it makes sense to buy this yeah yeah and that's what that's what it is and it's 1.5 liter as i said before the engine is turbo as well so that's why they call it the a180d and yeah as most of the aspects that we've covered of the car and um at the moment currently what do you think is the um name top three rivals yeah so that's the um, that's the the big one you got the a3 the yeah. audi a3 which yes. is direct competition you also have the one series which is direct competition i think the one series yeah the one series but do you know what you know what you have, you have a bmw or yeah. you have a mercedes no, what, put the, what put the one series in the bin you didn't like the it? new one series i hate them you don't like the new one series no. what's what's the reason behind it though? I, if i'm correct i don't like the shape if it's the same car we're talking about i don't like the shape i don't like the grill oh uh, yeah i think they've completely destroyed it 
they've completely destroyed it. So, do you know what? This isn't facts, but for me personally... I've had a one series on the channel before as well. The, your first video? The first video yeah, I've done was a one I, series. I absolutely hate that car, but that's just my per, that's my personal, yeah, opinion. personal opinion. Yeah, so we could throw that in the bin. BMW, that doesn't even come in BMW the top three rivals. Certain, certain aspects where they are actually better than Mercedes. Yeah. And then Mercedes has certain things where it's better than their... I'm gonna try in the future. I'm gonna try get a one series and an A class together on the channel. It might even be this and the one series that I've done before. Why not? Um, why not this and an A3? Uh, we can bring because you know what? I think the A3. Well. You're right. It, that's that's the strongest contender right there. People might say the Golf is a contender as well. Which Golf? The Volkswagen Golf. It's a similar. Well, size of course, I know it's a Volkswagen. Yeah. But what Golf GTI? Golf. Golf R or just a normal any just golf? Just a normal like a GTD. GTD would be that maybe a direct competition or something like. Yeah, I think I think yeah. you are right. I think do you know what? Let's replace that with the BMW One Series. Yeah. <laughs> but um. Yeah. But do you know what? Yeah, I have to say, um, Audi and Volkswagen, they brand new cars. They're doing good interior. Very good interior. Do you always know Audi have always. They've always been a main competitor for Mercedes and BMW. But in the last, like, say, two, three, may, maybe even four or five years, they've stepped up their they've game up a lot. lot. A lot. And but Mercedes what? was first. Mercedes was first, yeah. 100%. And oh, look, she answered is, me again. It still <laughs> is. Like, Mercedes is advancing. Yeah. But it's just that Audi is having major advancements as well. BMW have slightly changed the whole system as well, the interior wise. They took a bit of time. But yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they, they definitely it. did. But yes, I rate Mercedes uh, until I have an A3 on the channel. Um, I don't know what to say, but I think BMW, are, uh, I, from my point of view, BMW and Mercedes, the A class and the One Series, is quite competitive. Like it's it's up there. Mm. Like it's it's comparison. But A3, I don't know. Like until I have it on the channel, I, I don't know what um, we are rated. Okay. So um, I don't know which one I'd rate more of the One Series and this. And this. Yeah. I, th I think it's very, very close between the two. What, performance and luxury wise? Performance and luxury wise. I think performance may be luxury, no. Luxury, Mercedes, Mercedes have obviously stepped it up, but then BMW have quite stepped it up as well with the One Series. Yeah, but then to be fair, this without ambient lighting is a yeah. major L. Yeah, and the one that the, one, the BMW are done actually had the ambient lighting on there as yeah, well. Yeah, that did, very subtle. Yeah, very it subtle. It was subtle. But it actually had it. So um to um summarize everything so far. Yeah. What would you give this car on a scale of one to ten? Do you want me to give it from my point of view or from like a youngster's point of view? Like no, someone no. who's I want you the to car. give me an intelligent answer considering the performance, the luxury, all the negatives, all the positives. Okay, a scale so of one to ten. I'd 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 give it a seven. You'd give it a 7? Yeah, 7 out of 10. Okay, and would you personally purchase this car? Personally, I wouldn't purchase this car. Why? It's just because my like my age group... No, 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 forget my, the age, forget the age. I, I'd buy this if I was looking in the market for this. Right. I'd buy this, like it'll be up there, but it's just that... It is, it is more for a younger generation. It is more aimed at a younger generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you looking at? Cut me. Cut. <laughs> Cut. Yes, yes. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm a bit lala. Yes, yes. It's As Reviews Cars. I'm back again with another video. I know you guys miss me. Today we've got the Mercedes A180D Exotic. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Go! Uh, gee, I said slowly! Fam, I'm walking!